Hello YouTube Stereo Collectors. This is a late 1960s Ico Cortina 3070. This was a factory build unit. It did come as a kit. Has a nice aluminum faceplate. Um, kind of a neat unit. Each side of the amp is a mirror image of the other. As you can see there's three circuit boards. The phono preamp, the preamp, and the driver board then some small TO66 package outputs. It uh, produces about 15 watts of output. I'm going to hang on to the camera here and we'll flip the amp over and you can see it's the same thing on the other side. Capacitor coupled. Some nice things about the construction of these all the controls and pots are individually mounted. They're not on a PCB so if you want to change one change it. Just unsolder the wires, put the new one back in. Uh, another neat thing about it is you can use very standardized parts for this amplifier. The uh, transistors, it's, it's an all silicon amp. The transistors that were here, the 32N3391s, they're very noisy transistors, the best they had at the time. You can use 2, 2N3904s through the whole stage. Uh, it's very forgiving. And in the driver transistors here, the originals are fine. These are diodes, actually, not transistors. They are fine, but you can actually use like a 3904 and a 3906 combo. A uh, thing that has to be done on this amp, it had fixed bias and it was 200 milliamps, the bias, which is way too much, made the outputs run hot no matter what you did. So in the bias circuit here, I put in a 500 ohm pot and then you can adjust it, let it idle about 25 milliamps and uh, then the amp runs cool and it's very responsive. And on the back, inputs for a magnetic phono. It has a tape loop and an auxiliary in, tuner in. It's got uh, three fuses. Anyway, that's the Eichel Cartina. Thank you for watching.